Hello. It's good to see you. Today we're going to be examining different items and tracing circles. So all different kind of things that have circles on them. This is one of my scarves. Um, you can see that we have um, different shades of red. Just smooth it out. It's a little creased. There we go. That's better. We can pull it a little bit. There. So we have again pink polka dots on here. I like the unique combination of colors in this scarf. They use primarily pink, red, purple, and beige. That's really pretty. All the way around each circle. And can see that the middle has roses. So it's a very pretty long silk scarf. It's not a heavy scarf, obviously, but I like it. Next, we have some little gift bags. These are it's a package of three. They're from Voila. And they're all the same size. They're six inches high, four inches wide, and two and a half inches deep. The first bag has, is a little different. You will notice it has these holographic dots. On the other ones, they are in the same location. They're just kind of um, a light gray color. And then the tag is striped. So the tag is a little different from the bag. And they have these pretty light blue ribbons for handles. We have gold colored circles, the iridescent holographic looking ones. Those are a dark orange color. We have light blue dark blue, sort of a teal color, green, holographic, orange, gold, and then some of the dots are smaller. We can have these little ones. And then the colors just repeat at random. And they overlap, like here. Smaller dots, larger dots. If I miss one, I'm sorry. They're, it's easy to miss them because they're 
jumbled up. Here we have an iridescent one overlapping the teal. The yellow ones are kind of um, a goldenrod color. Hmm, I like them. We have these larger ones here. These are a little bigger. Here's a light blue, slightly overlapping this one. Most of them don't overlap. That one overlaps just a little bit. The green does. And this green one overlaps this dark blue one. And depending on the light, shining on them. The little holographic looking ones can look like the light blue, but they're not. There's one that overlaps. This one overlaps a little. These two, these are overlapping too. Now these are the same. The patterns are the same. We have some up here. If you will notice with all three of these bags, there are more dots the closer you get to the bottom. It's like they're falling from the sky and they're just kind of collecting down here. neat. It's an interesting combination of colors. I like them. them. But even the biggest dots on here are not very big. These like this are the biggest, and they're still kind of small. And of course, some of these, the closer together they are, the more they overlap. Because there's just not enough room, I guess. And they run out of space, and they overlap. I really like the gray background, too. It looks so good with these colors. To me, anyway. And then the third one, again, you look at the top here, look near the top of the bag. There are not as many dots. They're really spread apart. And it's like they're just falling down, like little snowflakes falling to the ground. And then they get down here, and they start to collect and pile up, just like snow, which I hope we won't have any more of for a while. green ones are really pretty. It would be very easy to miss if you try to be thorough. Some of these are kind of a teal color, right here. 
On my screen they look light blue, but in real life they're kind of a teal. So there we have our little gift bags. All these little dots. <laughs> and they're on the back too. And it has an orange bottom to it. Very festive little bags. Next, we have a packet of little pocket-sized tissues from Smart Care. There are six packs in here. And do you see how little they are? Oh, and you also get three bonus packs for a total of nine, because I looked at it this way and said that's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I guess normally they only have six, but you get three bonus packs for free. These tissues are actually white, but the packaging itself has little circles. Like this one has purple circles on it. They um kind of overlap. They go over, but we're going to count them anyway. This one has light blue circles. See just a part of it there, a little one, and up here, and orange, different shades of orange on these circles, like this. And there's one down here. And you can actually see these on both sides. Each individual package, there's a tiny circle, each individual package has different colors of little circles on the packaging. Each packet is a tiny circle in a big circle. Each packet includes 10 tissues. These are really convenient to keep in your purse or in your car. I keep some of these in my glove compartment. Thus, you never know when you're going to need them for something. Smaller circle, tiny circle right there, and a big circle. And these are different shades of purple. See, they're all not good. They're not exactly the same shade. Some of them are much darker, and then where they overlap, it's darker too. There's a big circle in another one. So it's a handy little package of individual packages of tissues from Smart Care. It also says that the packs are resealable, which comes in handy so they don't all fall out. <laughs> Next, I have a little wooden spoon. It's cute. Now this spoon, it's decorated. You can see it's been painted. It has a varnish on it to make it shiny. The end is painted red, and it's also a little glossy. Now this spoon has little berries painted inside of it. And we can trace those. Little red, tiny red berries. We just take our fingernail and go around the berries. It looks like each cluster has a different number. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these were, I would assume, hand-painted onto the spoon. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Little berries. They're so cute. <laughs> and in the middle, you can't really see it too well, but there's a lighter dot 
in the middle on these berries, kind of like blueberries you know blueberries have the little thing on the end and here we have two more little clusters of berries like this Now this cluster here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine berries. How about this one? Let's go around each one. Now this one has one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight berries. Nice spoon to tap. Especially right on that outside right there. little decorative spoon. Next, we have a little box. A little happy birthday box. This piece is attached separately. It's just a little box. And the reason I picked this was not because of the balloons, although we can trace those too. Pretty balloons. We have them down here too. We have picked this box for a different reason. It's a little pink one right there. But I picked this box because of the sides. Let me get the little silicone packet. I picked it for the sides because it has little polka dots of all colors. Look here, we have orange, purple, there's a bit of a light blue one. This one is actually made of little small lines, but it looks gray. Little thin black lines. Orange, light blue, orange. I have a darker orange there. Another one that looks gray. Orange. Yellow. Gray right there. And blue right there. A very light green. Gray. Orange. Yellow. Gray. Orange, and in the corner we have a little bit of blue, and right on the edge we have a little bit of yellow. So it's a combination of colors. They go all the way up to the edge and over at the edge. You see? All the way up. Some of them overlap a little. Right there, right there. Evie is exploring some of my items over here on the floor. <laughs> the inside is a really pretty light blue. The little circle pattern actually kind of overlaps the edges. So you can see some little bits of color and they go all the way around. So it's a, just a cute little box with circles all around it. Next. 
next I have a combination pack of felt pads in different sizes. This is a 60 pack of felt pads and they have adhesive on the back. These are great for a number of things around the home. You will notice we have some that are quite large and then we have the medium size and the smaller size and you can pull them apart very easily to use them separately. Here's one. These are two stacks of the larger ones. These little ones I use for cabinets that bang. You know, when you close them, they make a loud noise. I use these to, um, to cushion them to keep them from doing that. When I bought this house, all of the cabinets did that. All three bathrooms in the kitchen had cabinets that you could not close quietly. I couldn't stand it. So I put felt pads on all of them to keep them from doing that so they don't do it anymore. That was one of so many things I had to do when I moved in here. It's a lot of little things had to be fixed or changed. Neither of the, um, bathtubs would drain properly. I tried to fix it myself, but I ended up having to hire a plumber to do it. It was pretty bad, <laughs> but they got it fixed. They were so severely clogged. The plumber said they'd probably been that way for a long time, and no one had cleaned them, but they got them fixed, so I was happy. I keep them clean. Yeah, these are great to have around for all kinds of things. You can put these. I have these on the bottoms of the legs of the stools. I have two stools in the kitchen. You can put these on the legs so they slide better. Next, we have a cute little thing. This really only has a couple of circles. I thought it was cute. It is an inflatable cup holder. I found this at Dollar Tree. See, it looks kind of like a mutant pineapple. It's like you crossed a snake in a pineapple. <laughs> and so you can put this in your pool. And you can stick a drink down in there. And it will float. And you can see the bit here that looks like the top of the pineapple. And you have this circle here, this big round inflatable part. This also inflates. And then the circle in the middle where you put your drink. And then you have the top of the drink. And I guess there's the O and cup. It actually inflates to nine and a half inches. And there on the back you can see the little nozzle, the little opening where you add the air. They have these in different styles at Dollar Tree. I just liked I liked the pineapple one, so this is the one I got. I thought it was kinda cool. we have a spiral doodle. This is like a spirograph, you see? If you remember these, you have the different little forms, and you have things that look like gears that you put in there, and you use your pen or pencil. You can use different col colors. And each one, depending on the type you use, and the size of the opening, and where you put the pen or pencil, is going to make a different type of spiral. And you can make really pretty things this way. You can combine two, like here they did red and green, or black and green. There's just really no limit to what you can come up with. But this, I thought this box had some nice circles on it. Here, these, this one, this pretty one here 
great big one. And it even has little circles going around here. And these, this one has several in the little, little guide. There's one, here's one, and one here. I want to do this someday in a separate video, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And here I have a great big mylar balloon. It's obviously not inflated. I got this one because it has such a beautiful variety of circles and they're overlapping one another. We have tiny circles and big circles too and medium size. I know I'm not going to get all these. <laughs> I'm definitely miss some. A little bitty. I like these circles because they appear to have a shadow behind them and it gives them some depth. They look like they're kind of standing out. I have to trace these lines. Happy birthday. I got this balloon at Dollar Tree. They said you don't want any. Helium? I said no. <laughs> they didn't question it. <laughs> yeah, a little circle there. You can see that the circles go all the way around. tree in your area, but my, the Dollar Trees here, have a stunning variety of balloons. Most of them have at least 20 different designs, and they change them throughout the year depending on the holiday. If it's near, say, graduation time or Mother's Day or Valentine's Day, they get in some just for those occasions. So, um, and they're only a dollar, and that does include the helium. It's a really good deal, especially if you go somewhere like Party City and the same balloon would be about $5. It's a really good deal. Down here we have a collection of dots. This is down near the very end of the balloon. And all these little circles are kind of a foil color. Of course, it is a Mylar balloon, so that makes, that makes sense. Evie's getting comfortable. <laughs> She's lying down on a placemat. <laughs> she just, she can't do anything quietly. She's a neat cat, but she's very noisy. <laughs> she's not very stealthy. <laughs> Although she tried to catch a squirrel earlier outside. I told her she better be glad she didn't succeed. It would have torn her up. <laughs> Look at these pretty colors with these little circles. So I thought the little balloon was kind of cool. We have a reusable tote. This is from Main Street Totes Reusable Bags. It is a reusable, water repellent, tear resistant, and it can carry up to 20 pounds. It's made of recycled plastic. Now these aren't really circles per se. They're kind of ovals. They're like little trees. But this one 
has little little circles in it, teal colored, sort of a salmon color, yellow, lavender, burgundy, lots of little circles inside. There's a big gray one. Very nice. Here's another one with a circle inside of there. A big circle. This one makes me think of an orange, like if you cut it, or a grapefruit, perhaps. And then a little pale yellow circle in the middle. Here's one that is full of stripes. Here's another one, like the grapefruit, with the pale yellow circle in the middle. This one, this one here, looks like it has little multicolored raindrops. This one has the multicolored bits, but they're more rectangular. This one looks like an apple. And the two halves together, like that. Here's another one. The middle of this one is a pretty burgundy color. And another one with stripes, just like that one. I love these little re reusable totes. I use these a lot. And then, ah, oh, emojis. It's a packet of napkins. We have 20 napkins. You see the back is almost completely plain, except for one little dude in the top of somebody's head. And we have all these circles. And these kind of go off the side. See these two, too. Some of them go all the way down. Happy faces. These look like a lot of fun. So we have festive emoji napkins. Border is red with a little bit here that's blue, and you can't really see it, but between the blue and the red is a sort of a pinkish little border, but it's kind of hard to see it. And then, kind of along the same lines, we have some paper plates. Aren't these pretty? This is a packet of 18 paper party plates. And again, we have all these pretty circles. And they go all the way off the edge. Here's a pretty red one. Here's a light blue one with a little orange dot in the middle. This one is green on the outside and then yellow. Pink. Blue on the outside and then green. Pink on the outside, and yellow. This one has little tiny green circles all the way around, purple. And this one is just blue. Purple on the outside, pink on the inside. It's a little yellow circle. Green, yellow, and blue on the outside, purple on the middle. This one is orange, and it looks like a yellow doodle around it. This one has a thick red border, and then orange. This one is pink and yellow. This one goes over. This one does too. I don't know why this makes me think of a twister mat. <laughs> I 
I think it's the big red dots that make me think that. I haven't played Twister since I was a kid. Here's a huge one here. And here's, this is a thick blue border with a little green dot. This one is all green. Yellow and red. Purple. Blue on the outside and green in the middle. Another red. Blue on the outside, little orange dot in the middle. Green and yellow. And of course, the plate itself is round. So here's this big circle. <laughs> giant, giant circle. Next, I have a pink gift bag with light pink dots and gold, shiny gold dots. And that's just a plain white handle at the top. Now some of these dots overlap, you can see. This one goes over the edge. It's kind of a foil, like gold foil. These would be oh, easy to miss, too. If I miss any, I apologize. You can't exactly mark your place. This one's kind of the opposite of the gift bags where you had a lot of dots at the top and you come down, or you had a few at the top and more at the bottom. This one appears to have more at the top and fewer at the bottom. something captivating about the sound of this bag. I like the sound of my nails on the bag. That's cool. I like this. It's just neat. <laughs> and then we have my bag from the Natural Science Museum store. I saved it because it has circles. Look at these circles. They get bigger and bigger. And they just keep going. So they start out like this. Then they go to this. And this.
have a little packet of thank you notes. These, I don't know who made these, doesn't say. But I bought these because we have little circles on here. They overlap. Some of the circles are bigger. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's a faint overlap of a dotted brown line that overlaps each circle. And then in small letters, lowercase, it just says thanks. And the inside says, you made my day. So, those are cute little circles. Or I think they are. <laughs> it's just a little pack of Thank you notes. And then finally, I have my melamine plate. Now this one has some circles too. In the paisley pattern, you'll see these little pink circles. side of a flower and this little inside part here and the same thing here but a little bigger and another one and surrounding these flowers we have little tiny blue circles And then on the outside of that, we have little pink circles, tiny pink circles that go all the way around. And here, there's a little circle right there and kind of a teardrop shape there. Here we have multiple circles. Here's the black one, purple. Here's a circle made of circles. <laughs> These are yellow. You see what they do? They have a thick yellow border and the inside is green. And this just goes all the way around. side of this blue here, a big circle that goes around, and a big yellow circle that goes off the edge of the plate. And then here we have a half circle in purple, and part of a circle in pink too. And then we have the plate itself, which is a big circle. And 
that is the last item that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye-bye.